Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is about to change in a very significant way. It was down to the final five. Thank you. Jacket. And for the first time, it was every chef for themselves. This is your first individual challenge. The finalists competed in a tableside challenge. The winner is Jimmy. The win gave wow. Jimmy his high point in Hell's Kitchen. Then, in the dining room, Elsie survived her tableside service. Wow. Meanwhile... Hey, I'm hello! What's this? Yeah. Get back on your section! Things were turning disastrous for Jessica. Hello, it's clear you've given up. I have not given up. Well, work at it! And it wasn't much better for Jimmy. I'm asking you why you're putting fucking fish stock on a fucking risotto. Get it off! And after taking the wrath of Chef Ramsay for weeks... Why is the fish in the pan? Jimmy finally had enough. Why isn't the fish in the pan? I can't fucking do both at the same time. Come here, you. Come here, you. No. Unlike Jimmy, Ralph turned things around for himself. Ralph. Yes, yeah, Chef. On tonight really proved your worth. Impressive. Thank you, Chef. And Chef Ramsay asked him to nominate two for elimination. Have you decided on your two nominees? Yes, I have, Chef. My first nominee is Jimmy. Then Ralph had to choose between his biggest rival, Michael, his closest ally, Jessica, and homesick Elsie. My second nominee is Jessica. Jimmy, you're out. Give me a jacket. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> After Jessica's worst dinner service ever, she is relieved to still be in Hell's Kitchen. No worries, Ralph. I don't hate you. I, I love you, little one. I know. It's okay, Ralph. <laughs> don't worry. I know you feel guilty. It's okay. I was out there for a reason tonight, you know, and hopefully I'm going to learn from this. If I'm to stay here, I need to prove myself. I truly really do have a one in four chance of winning my own restaurant. Now that it's down to the final four, these chefs know that the only one they can rely on is themselves. I came here and I didn't exactly feel confident enough. But now, I feel that I am a pretty good contender to winning this competition. Congratulations. Thank you. You earned it. Thank you. I do create friendships, but my friendships don't mean more to me than winning this. Three people between me and my restaurant. It's fucking huge. The game officially started tonight. Do I think myself to have a good chance? I have to. Do I think myself qualified? Certainly. So every day I wake up, I'm gonna be thinking about trying to win this thing. Morning, guys. Morning, morning chef. chef. Everyone's so serious this morning. Now there's four of you here standing in front of me. And just look how close you're getting now. The bar's been raised even higher. And it's getting harder. OK, our next challenge. This is a challenge that I give to every new cook that I hire. You're going to be cooking from a bowl of leftovers. It's about maximizing your food cost and no waste. The individual chefs must create a dish using 15 leftovers that include beef, chicken, macaroni, parsnips, and red wine. This test is going to separate the average to the talented. The winner of this challenge will do what every chef in America would love to do. You've all got 15 minutes. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. To ensure originality, Chef Ramsay has spread out the group. Jessica and Michael will be cooking in the blue kitchen, while Ralph and Elsie will be in the red kitchen. Any ideas yet, Jessica? Uh, they're coming to me, Chef. They will be judged on presentation, taste, and creativity. In other words, how they maximize the ingredients. Try to use all the ingredients, yes? I thought we got chicken stock. Oh. I am the leftover queen. When you're feeding a family of six, you learn to utilize leftovers really well. It's like, I'm gonna make some chicken soup. Think about what I said, Elsie. Ralph, no waste. What we've been taught here is not to overload with too many flavors, but really use flavors wisely. Get your pan on. Get some heat in the pan. My mom was the inspiration for my dish. She was always like throwing stuff together. She was always making up crazy casseroles. 
let things work and move. Chef Ramsay he really wanted to make a point for us that we can make great things out of just scraps to create new dishes. Okay, Michael, seven minutes, you got that? The chef. Ralph, he's got all these pans going, and I'm just throwing in my stuff, you know, into my pot, making my chicken soup. <laughs> That's five minutes, guys. I made a saute of chicken drumlets. I had the thing nailed. One minute, Michael. I was thinking about taking the chicken off the bone. All of a sudden, you know, it was like one minute left. I was like, ah, you know, I don't have time. I feel like I'm missing something. All right, guys, stop and plate your dishes. That's it, no more time. Now. Right now. Chef Ramsay believes the key to any successful restaurant is utilizing leftovers from the previous night's dinner service. Now it's time to see what the aspiring chefs have come up with. Jessica. Yes, chef. Reveal what you've done. I did a beef stew and uh, berries and cream dessert, chef. OK. Pass over your dish, please. Thank you. First one. Mm. It actually looks a mess, but it tastes delicious. Next dish. The presentation zero, but flavor. Good flavor. Not bad. The chef definitely reacted nicely to my dish. She said it had good flavor. I thought I did well. OK, Michael. Chef, tell me what you did, please. I have a, uh, a pasta here, and then I have uh, chicken wings. Thank you. So, a pasta dish? Yes. This is opposite to Jessica's. Actually looks quite nice, but doesn't really taste as nice as it looks. Oh, man. And um, very dangerous leaving those chicken bones in there. Very dangerous. It was the little details, like keeping the bone in the chicken. I knew that it would come back to haunt me, and it did. So a uh, bit of a letdown, that one. OK, Ralph, tell me what you did, please. Chef, what we have here is a sauté of chicken drumstick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's accompanied by uh, some uh, on-the-fly poems lyonnaise with a natural thyme sauce. Looks like something just come out of a restaurant. Clean. Um, Presentation-wise, spot on. Um, Flavour, uh, not bad. Unfortunately, the raw onion is very, very crunchy. Um, not a clever utilisation of the ingredients. Barely one third. Elsie. Yes, chef. Reveal your dish. I made a traditional chicken soup, my hangover special. Uh, cut up some potato. <laughs> <laughs> Leftover chicken soup, great for hangovers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can smell little, it from here. Put a little hot sauce on that and you're, you're good to go. All these people have tarragon and they're using all these fancy, you know, yeah, this is braised beef with blah, 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 blah. And I've got chicken oh. soup. There's certainly enough portions in there to feed a family of six. OK. Um, first thing I'm nervous about is the colour. It looks like something out of a Suez canal. OK. That's delicious. Thank you, Chef. A real hearty, um, warm, substantial soup. Thank you, Chef. Four very interesting dishes. I have to say, within 15 minutes, not bad. And the person winning the challenge today is going to be doing something very, very different. Very exciting. Doesn't happen that often, especially in cooking. That person is. Elsie, congratulations. Thank you. I'd pay for that dish. Thank you, Chef. We've got an exciting morning tomorrow morning. OK. Very exciting. I'm thrilled. Don't forget your knives. I won't, Chef. Let's go. When you think of the practical side of Elsie's soup, two thirds of a tray was used. So all those leftovers were cleverly utilised in the middle of a very busy restaurant. You could quite easily sell 25, 30 portions of that. Elsie has once again proven that talent and creativity can impress Chef Ramsay more than experience. Elsie, did you keep your soup? I want to try it. I totally thought I won. I mean, he said great things about my dish. I also had dessert on my dish. Elsie didn't, and Elsie won. I'm looking crazy about that veal stock. It does look like a sewer. So it sucks. I'm a little bitter. You know, I'm definitely bummed. Let me get some of that soup. 
I guess the one thing that annoyed me the most was the fact that both Jessica and Ralph, at the end of the challenge, said, let me taste your soup. Like, they really couldn't believe that it was good. Yummy. It's good? Yummy. There's a little bit of jealousy there. They're pissed. They came up with all these fantastic, fancy dishes, and I made chicken soup. With Elsie having been on the winning side of five challenges, the others are getting tired of her success, especially Ralph, who hasn't been rewarded with a trip outside the gates of Hell's Kitchen since he arrived. I was disappointed. I know that my dish looked the best. Nobody likes a sole loser, though. We got a big day tomorrow. I gotta be up and ready by 7.30. I wonder what you're doing. I don't know, with my chef jacket. Not so much fun if you ask me. Well, it depends on what I'm gonna do. It beats prepping, I'll tell you that. What's that? <laughs> I said it beats prepping. I haven't won a challenge since I've been here. I feel like I got robbed. You know, bad for Ralph, good for Elsie. She's gonna go play with somebody with the knives tomorrow. Uh, good for her. It's 7 a.m. and Elsie gets ready for her reward. She has no idea where her chicken soup is about to take her. Morning, Elsie. Ready? Yes. Got your knives? Yep, got my still knives. Do, still don't know where we're going. Don't have a clue. Right. I wish you'd tell me. After you. <laughs> I will do in a minute. In we go. Something very, very exciting. We're actually going to a television studio. We're going to do a segment on Good Day Live on national television. Gonna cook. No, we're not. A cookery. I'm gonna cook on television? You're gonna cook on television. It's a breakfast show, it's national, it's going across the whole of America, okay? Okay, can I have a drink now? <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing about this is just to stay in control. Just don't yell at me, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> just don't burn the risotto. Alfie, what the fuck is that? I won't, I won't, I won't. I'm gonna watch it very, very carefully. There you go. Here we go. Ready? Yes. While Elsie arrives at the studio, for the losers, it's a full day of prep for tonight's dinner service. You wanna get yourself set up? You guys still don't know what it is, right? We have some guesses going on. What are your guesses? Well, I don't know, she's bringing her chef jacket and knives, maybe going to... Uh... Cooking for the governor? I don't know, I wouldn't want that gig. I'm afraid I don't have a very good schnitzel recipe. All right, okay, makeup, oh dear, I don't like makeup. Hi, Lily. How are we? Yeah, I feel like a movie star, you know? Like five minutes of fame, hey, I'm gonna grab it and run with it, you know? <laughs> It's just minutes before Elsie, the mother of six, makes her talk show debut. Can't wait three seconds. So you guys will do all the intro. Two minutes, everybody. We're two minutes away, we're away. At night for the battle. Um, take two seconds from that, please. Jessica, just yep. uh, throw the rest of those in there, and then we, uh, I just need you guys for two minutes. Yep. You too, Ralph? I'm not nervous, right? It's just live television. All right, no, not nervous at all. Really, Why seriously, it's nothing. Telling me that? Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. She's nothing like... to be nervous about. It's just national. One minute. How far away are we, guys? He, he's gonna tell me when to go. Yeah. Okay. Follow. Right here, Michael, Jessica, Ralph. Have a seat. Just watch. Help. Ready? Yes. Ready, chef. Ready. Good. You don't look nervous. Stand by. Scottish. Okay. Three, two. Three, two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes, welcome back to Good Day Live, everybody. Our next guest is one of the world's top chefs, England's own Gordon Ramsay. He when Scott Gordon brought us over to the bar, there was no doubt in my mind what we were gonna be looking at. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make the most amazing risotto. Else? Come in, babe, and take over. Show us how it's done. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Elsie. Take Hello. over because I'm, I suck here. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. What are you doing here? Good morning, Elsie. I would much rather it have been me, 
but it was her, uh, so be it. Here we're uh, sweating up the shallots, just mm -hmm. making them nice and warm and getting them mm. all coated because it's going to be in the risotto. This is the kind of dish you don't want to leave unattended. Like Why? You, because, I mean, the risotto dries up very, very quickly. Generally, how long does it take to make a proper risotto? Less than 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm pissed and out. I want to win. And, you know, the fact that she just keeps winning, it just, you know, it creates bitterness with everybody, that's all. You, you seem very cool, Elsie. What's up I, with that? I am. I'm a pretty cool person. Elsie's a little older and, you know, so are those women, so I think she got to kind of bond as far as that goes. How's she doing? Oh, yeah. She's doing very well. You Absolutely know what? Very well. I won yesterday's challenge. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks, Elsie. Thank you. Thanks, Elsie. Thanks, Elsie. Cool. Now yeah. we're cooking. Now Thank we're you for being here. It's time for you guys to get back in the kitchen and get ready for dinner service. Yep. <clears throat> Go, Elsie. Thanks, Elsie. Bye, Bye Elsie. If I were, you know, the other contestants, I would probably be a little jealous that uh, I got my few minutes of fame on national television. Yeah. I did it, I did it, I did it. And I didn't crack. While Elsie celebrates her success, Back in Hell's Kitchen, they are hardly celebrating. The next challenge, we should all make chicken soup. Yeah, um, don't get me pissed off about it again, Michael. Sewer water soup. With the bone on it. Yeah, with the bone on it, soggy wet, in the soup. Sounds fucking appetizing. Should have made him eat one of those things. Oh, snap. Right now, while Elsie's over at the studio making hobnobbing with everybody over there, we're uh, putting the ax to the grind. Myself, Jessica, and Michael are doing the work of Five people as three. I gotta make a risotto now. She's on TV and I'm cooking a risotto. You gonna carry her tonight? Nope. <laughs> you know, uh, me and Ralph, I sort of joked about like not carrying Elsie because a lot of people have been doing a lot of stuff for her. The truth is, what station you're at, you're freaking responsible for that. So tonight is definitely put up or shut up for Elsie. Good day live! Ah, killing me now! Yeah, I should have won it, Ralph. If you look at what I made, I won. Killing me, Jess. Yes, right. Hey, Jess, what are you gonna do if Elsie's in the weeds tonight in the uh, in the garnish station? If what? Elsie's in the weeds in the garnish station. Nothing. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. Hey. Hi hey, guys. Hey. hey. Did you see her? We did. Yes. Yeah. We, as a matter of fact, we did tune in. What do you think? It was excellent. Did you learn anything? Don't lose challenges. Don't lose challenges, because you, you might get some TV action. Fantastic. Elsie, I think you did a great job. I wish it was me, but I'm so happy it was you. Um, one more thing. Second part of the prize, you get to choose who's on what station for tonight's service. Don't tell me now. Think about it, and tell me later. Have a good think. OK? OK. <laughs> let's get, uh, let's get cracking. Back to the real world. Elsie, there's risotto over there. You want to check it for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, you know, I'm trying to read the vibes, but I'm also not, because if I care too much about the vibe, it's just going to bug me. Was that a good experience this morning? No one was bitter at you or hated you or anything for that, you know? Huh? No one was bitter at you or hated you or there was no resentment for anybody, you know? You want to know what I think? What? I think that uh, Chef judges each, each one of us differently. He has different expectations out of each one of us based upon our skills. Like, obviously he expects something more from me than what I gave him or I would have won. And you, you came through with what he was expecting from you and you won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though the competition has now become a contest between four individuals, in Chef Ramsay's world, the customers always come first. OK, guys, two seconds, please. Yes, Chef. Very quick. And a minute from now, customers are coming in. And we have got to complete a fully booked dining room. Elsie. Yes. Who's on the starters? Jessica. Jessica. Vegetables. Michael. Michael. Fish. That would be me. You're on the fish. I'm on the fish. Good choice. Ralph. Yes, Chef. You're on meat. Busy, busy station. We are a team. Yes, you're judged individually. We are a team. Tonight is the night where you're going to be tested more than ever before. Keep that at the back of your minds. Remember, one of you are going home this evening. Let's go. Yes? Set. Section set up. Yes. We know where we're on. As Hell's Kitchen opens its doors for the eighth time, customers are less willing to accept long waits or subpar food. Um, I would love a mushroom. 
mushroom agnolani. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have the lobster bisque. I need some orders in here, yeah? Otherwise, yeah? we become mediocre again. Let's go. Yeah? That's okay. Thank you. On order, four covers, table 23. Two anelotti, one Caesar salad, one lobster bisque. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Main course, two lobster, one halibut, one filet. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Filet requested medium well. After that, one penne, one bisque again. I got a, a, a that. After that, one penne, one bisque again. Yes, yes, chef. I need an answer, Jessica. Yes, chef. I get very nervous. It's first table and it's blind. No one's talking to me. Everyone's gone quiet and there's no communication and it's a first table. Coming off her worst dinner performance. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Can someone come and help me? Because I'm fucking up to my ears and shit. I'm getting screamed at. Jessica is desperately trying to redeem herself. Jess. Yes. Come here. Coming. Pears shit. The salad's all pushed up to the front. There's nothing down here. I'll read Jessica and it right looks now. disgusting. All right, chef. Okay. Penne, you send it again because the salad's shit. You got one minute to redo the salad, otherwise I'm gonna throw the bisque back. Got it. Sorry, like I said earlier, we may be busy, but I'm not slopping it out. Right, chef. And that looks like pig shit. Keep it together a little. Yep. Yes. Caesar salad. How is this being plated, just like that? How's that being plated? Uh, you have cheese. This needs to be, to be warm too, right? An hour into dinner service, with the help of Michael and Ralph, Get a little. Jessica is finally getting the starters out. Go, please, 21, go. Service, table six, go. Even though the customers seem to be enjoying their food, yeah. mm -hmm. Chef Ramsey is looking for a way to speed up the kitchen. Holy fuck, just back off for two minutes. Right, hello, all of you, yes. now, yes? Right now, quick, just two seconds, yes? Let me just tell you something, yeah? That first hour was fucking hard, yeah? We've been going that an hour and it's pathetic. I'm really pathetic. You're just climbing up. I'm talking to you, but nothing's coming back. It's not good. Now, you've all been around each and every one section, yes? Yes. Switch, right now. You, move over there, let's go. You, move on to the meat. You, move round, yes? I decided to switch the stations to make sure that the fish, the meat, and the vegetables communicated together. Now, listen to me. Can we communicate? Yes, chef. yes, chef. Yes, you're individuals, but we are running a restaurant. We need some team spirit here, OK? Yes, chef. I don't want any fish or meat on the hot plate unless we're ready to go together. Chef Ramsey uh, came up with yet another great idea. What it does is it separates it, the, the, you know, the, the nose and the, no, and the not nose. I still need to know what's going on, yeah? Thank you. Communication again, yes? Yeah. Right here, Chef. Very nice, Ralph. You got it. An hour and a half into dinner service, the chefs are starting to get out some of their main courses. Oh, that looks good. All right. What is going on? Back in the kitchen, Elsie is trying to adapt to her new station. Elsie, where's the penne? Right behind you here. I'm going to make the penne right now. And why are you doing Elsie's penne, Michael? No, because I don't know how to do it. I'm taking the penne. I'm going to put it in my station so you don't have to worry about it. No, I don't want you to put it in your station. Just show me one time how to do it. And I, I don't want to uh, just... I, like I said, it has everything I put here is all I, you I've need. I've never done it. What a pile of idiots. I'm fed up with this now because this is a joke. Stop what you're doing. Jessica on fish, Ralph on vegetables, Elsie on starters, Michael on meat. Switch, let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. When you change stations in the middle, you know, it really put a, a wrench in the night and, uh, you know, everything just becomes crazy and overwhelming. I said it was going to be the toughest test. Come on, keep it up. Step up a gear. Hopefully we can make it. Jessica, who didn't fare so well on starters, is now on the fish station, still hoping to impress Chef Ramsay. After that, you got three filet, one lobster. But that lobster's en route, yes? I need more time on my lobster. It's not cooked in the middle. It's just really big lobster. Right, Michael, stop the filet. Do you understand? I need to stop right. it straight away. Right. All you're shouting right. out of there is, I need more time for lobster. Hello? Yep. I need a time. Three minutes. Will it be ready in three minutes? I hope so, Chef. Oh, come yes, on. Yes, it will. Fucking yeah. hell. Two filet medium. I think that was just on the outside, Chef. As I tasted on the inside, it wasn't. Yeah, well, yeah. Just look, this is better? Yeah, so take that, that back, better? replate them, get the risotto in. Okay. But listen, for you now, this, mm -hmm. you understand? Because yeah. I'm fed up with it. Okay. Can I have risotto all around the plate properly, yeah? yeah? Because that looks like Dubri's dog's dinner. Right. And you've gone far too way past now okay. to start serving me slop. All right, Chef. Almost two hours into dinner service, 
it appears that the final four have taken an embarrassing step backwards. Serious to no meal. It's appetizers yeah. only. Yeah. yeah. They have yet to serve over half their diners. Yeah, and I'm keep trying to do my best. Oh, thank you. To, 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 to making sure that you get your starters, main courses, and dessert. Thank you. So there is still hope. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give them 20 minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elsie now finds herself in the weeds. Uh, yes? Yes, Chef. Hey, Jess, what are you going to do if Elsie's in the weeds tonight in the, uh, in the garnish station? Nothing. You going to carry her tonight? Nope. <laughs> Ralph, where's the rest of this, um, the rest of this sauce? Ralph. Ralphie? Ralph. I don't know why you're asking me damn questions. Where is the lobster can... biscuit and the blue tape? Yes, it's coming It's up. with the Caesar salad. Now send the Caesar salad. Oh, One come on, Al. Give me some feedback. One, I it's six the... starters. Two bisque, one velouté. OK. It's on the same table, Elsie. OK, sir, I'm going to plate it right I now. I called it out. You said yes. I've sent the salad. Hurry up. God damn it, this fucking place. There you go. Yeah, but that's nice. Here we go. But yeah. I'm a mess. What can I tell you? Hello. Hello. I yep. called out the order to go at the same. Oh. Shut up! I called out the order to go at the same time. Mm -hmm. You told me yes. Okay. Two bisque, one velouté, three Caesar salad. I sent the Caesar salad. Right. Then comes one bisque, one velouté. It's two bisque, one velouté. Yes, I want sir. one bisque right now. Yes. Yes, chef. Right now. With some love and some care, as if you really want this, you know. Yeah, because you're addressing that as if it's your last thing you'll ever touch in Hell's Kitchen. Come on, Elsie. I know you can do it. Yes, sir. But if you communicate with me and stay on a level, else. Yes. Yeah, and listen with me. We get you it together. It. You got okay? it. Okay? Yes. Come on. Uh, Elsie. Yes, sir. Two minutes, two minutes from there, yes? Yeah. Great, stand up here. You got it, you got, yeah, but you know, the, the table, <laughs> six starters. I heard three Caesars, that's all I heard. I so why don't you check with mistake. me? But if you check that's with me, yeah. I'm going to get you through this. OK, that's interesting. What, the private one-on-one -on -one instead of the screaming? Yeah, totally. So yes, you wouldn't be standing here if I didn't I know. believe in you. Come on, you've got to get it together, okay. sweetheart. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to so walk around and go me. back into the kitchen. Big deep breath, one yes. minute out there. Hello? Yes. And when you come back, you come back to me. Yes, sir. Move. You know, right now, I feel like a total outsider. And no one said a fucking word to me the whole night. They just pushed me to the side. I don't want to talk anymore. Yeah, she's on the verge. You can see that. Where's Elsie? What's else? Okay, what's the next dog? Um... Elsie. Yes. When you're uncertain in your mind, you talk to me and I'll come back to you. Yes, sir. The minute you don't talk to me and you're confused, we're in trouble. Yes, sir. Three hours into dinner service, the kitchen has only managed to get out half of their main courses. Many customers are fed up. I mean, this looks like such a nice place. I mean, I would think that we would, like, get something. And other customers got more than they expected. What's the, what, what's the complaint? OK, let me point the chef out, and it could have been dangerous, yeah? I'm happy you didn't swallow it. Because that's, I don't need that tonight, believe me. No, no. Yeah, what is that? A little piece of food. Yeah, OK. Oh, fuck it out. Yeah. Come here, give, bring that to me. Jessica. Yep. Without any lip, okay. just keep it shut. Okay. Customers found a big piece of wood in their lobster. That's not bullshit. No one's exaggerating. It's a splinter in the lobster, OK? Terrible. Stupid videos. Despite the four strongest chefs remaining, this has been one of Hell's Kitchen's worst dinner services. And that brings an all too familiar sight. No, forget the wine. I don't care. Let's go. Come on. I'm out of here. I know. My house kitchen. All right, we 
can so do this. We can put this out and I can go to bed good tonight. It's all I care about is getting the service out. Wow. Just tell me what's wrong with that steak. It's upside down. Upside down, upside down. Oh. Sorry, uh, again, you're supposed to be a fucking chef. Come in the kitchen, John Philip. Right, hello. You can come in now, yeah? Yes, Elsie, yeah, yeah, you're pissed off. You should see what's going through my mind right that? now. How many tables have walked out? Two tables, chef. I'm not going to agonise the pain any longer. And if you think I'm going to stand here for the next hour, busting a gut to get the fillet, to get the halibut, then to get the veg, then to get the chicken without the sauce, then to get the sauce without the chicken. Bang! I've had enough. Shut it down. Hello, Mr. Belgian man. And just give a little excuse, yeah, to them, yeah, and just tell them, yeah, why the fuck we're not sending that food, okay? Because that's amateurish. It's really fucking fantastic. Another service not fucking completed. No way, you guys. That was clearly nothing to be proud about, was it? No, yeah. Yeah. That was worse than I expected. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but last service was better than that. And for the first time ever, I actually felt we were cooking against each other. And to succeed in Hell's Kitchen, you have to succeed as a team. But no one came together. So no one is going to nominate. And no one has got the right to nominate anyone for elimination. Because you don't deserve to. The spirit was missing. Get back to your dorm. I'll have my own decision shortly. Now. Listen, I did the worst tonight and I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm realistic. We caught heat when you know she moved into the starters, and she got she got buried Dude. in there. That's Poor what it was. Then she went on to meet all three stations of Soda's Town. You know, but that's well, no what matter happened. what your skill level is, you're still responsible for your station. Elsie just couldn't get her stakes together tonight. She couldn't work that starter station. You know, she just sucked. It's a lousy feeling being someone of an outsider. Uh, you know, Ralph and, and Michael and, and Jessica obviously got it together today. And, you know, I knew in the morning there was some tension from winning the challenge. It was so disheartening when he talked about no one being good enough. All four of us have the chance of going home tonight. You know, when you are singled out to nominate somebody, you know that you're not going home that night. Now I don't have that security, and it's uh, it's really hard to deal with right now. I gotta dig deep. You could always do better, man. That's the whole idea. Every day that I've been here, I've done my share of the work, plus somebody else's. Does that mean anything? It don't mean nothing. There is no telling what the fuck is about to happen. It was a tough one tonight. I've made my decision. Michael. Chef. You look distraught. Yeah, I am. It's frustrating. You cannot carry a whole kitchen on your back. You did a lot of good things tonight. Clearly not enough. <laughs> Jessica. Yeah. Step forward, please. Performance was terrible. Tell me why you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. You know, I started off a little iffy with the starters, but I, I did pull it together. And then it was rough. Changing the stations was, was rough. I think on the line, I'm getting stronger. But it has been getting harder, and the pressure's been getting harder. 
but I'm ready to work extremely hard to you know stand up with you know with the big boys on the line. Elsie, step forward, please. You feel you got the right kind of support from the team tonight, because this is important for me now. I felt extremely disoriented in the kitchen. I, I was not prepared. I, I can't blame anyone else but myself for it. Um, a lot of the dishes I wasn't aware how to put together. And, you know, maybe I should have taken the time to study that. Did you feel you got the support from three of your colleagues? Yes, I did. Tell me why you should stay in the house kitchen. It's been a great experience. I mean, it's a lot more than I expected. I mean, I've worked really hard. It's all I've ever promised getting here. I mean, I don't have any magic potions. I, there's a lot that I just don't know. But I am a hard worker, and I am definitely a team player. I've given it my best since day one. Thank you. Now it's time for me to decide who's leaving Hell's Kitchen. All you're shouting out of there is, I need more time for a lobster. Yes. Young lady. Yeah. Hello. Yep. I need a time. So you wouldn't be standing here if I didn't I know. believe in you. Okay. You've got to get it together. I am. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. Elsie. You've made a lot of people happy and very proud. You've come a long way. And for a woman that's never spent an hour in a professional kitchen, you impress me. Thank you. And behind that, you've touched my heart. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Give me your jacket. Thank you. Great. Hey. Keep smiling. Well. You light up the place when you smile. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Take care. Elsie. I'm proud of you. Thank you. We all are. You did a great job, Elsie. I have no regrets. This has been the most exciting, hellish experience of my life. Can you just explain to me what it is? Uh, t uh, tacos with turkey meat. We won because why? Because you know what? You didn't he was go. gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Congratulations, red team. I'm going to kick some ass if it's the last fucking thing I do. Mm. Interesting. Oh, you're good. I did it. And I'm proud of myself. And the guys are proud of me. And it's a good feeling. You deserve to be here. Seriously. I did it! I did it! I did it! Coming into this, it was a long shot. And then I got as far as I did. I didn't win the restaurant, but I won. Nonetheless. Jessica, rejoin your team. That was a tough one tonight. We have got to get it together. And tonight we lost that spirit. And I so need that spirit coming back now. There's potential within all three of you. And congratulations for getting to the final three. But come back and prove while you're here. Good night. Now that we have the three of us, we can do the job. We need to pull together as a team because ultimately that's what working on the line is. Am I happy that Elsie's gone? Well, if that means I'm still here, yeah, of course I am. I just really need to whoop some ass. You know, Ruth, just be a boss and just do what I gotta do to win this thing. Now that we're down to the final three, what I am looking for personally is flair, creativity, great imagination, and more importantly, individuality. Because it's now when they really have to start excelling.